Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 20 of Haven Cave Block. Today, we'll, we get into Power's Reactor mod. So let's jump into it and see how we do it. All right, let's jump into this episode. And we're going to start out. I would like to get some of these seeds. And I would like to get them in a lot better ultra than ultra botany pod. Uh, most likely the creative one. I would like what? One, two, three, six of these creative ones. It'll be our first creative item that we've made for this pack. So there we go. We've got six of those. There we go. First creative item. Um, the next creative item I would like is this creative crafter. So I'm going to put this in here, type in creative and say one of these. And let's look at this real quick, see how long this has. Okay, it's, it's got a little bit. I hear I hear the the ultimate research being produced. Oh, is it that? Okay. There we go. We got that stored. It's creating all of these that it needs. All right, so we can come over here, see this. Okay, all of this stuff is on this. There's like. Three, two, one. Okay, the last one is on there. All right, so now we should be able to see the creative drive. Okay, we've got that. And this drive is so nice. It has 108 slots and consumes zero RF. Our current netherite ones consume 74 so let's get a barrel, okay, J just to store uh, the patterns out of here. I, I want to store the patterns someplace safe. Put them in the barrel here. Uh, we're going to need another barrel. Or say three of them. Okay, so there we go. Put away that. Grab a little bit more of these patterns that we've already made. That one's full. Really does not matter. Those are not patterns. Those belong in the top one. Let's store those there. So we know which ones are patterns and which ones aren't. Okay, that one's full. Uh, I should be able to hold the rest of these. What I don't put away. So now we can take out these two netherite crafters here. Uh, change to one creative, which see, yeah, it did not use any more. And there's the creative crafter. You can just toss all these patterns right up in there. So Take a second to do so. Just going to do that. We want to just put all of these into the creative crafter here. Okay, that's kind of odd. All 
All right. All right, so that definitely holds two more than the, well, it holds more than the two netherite ones was holding. We can make more of those creative ones as we need it. Might replace all of these out with creative ones. So yeah, there we go. That's two things done. Our second creative item. And back to these. Okay, so this one requires uranite. So let's see here. We just need four uranite force premiums and prosperity shards. Okay, so it's premium. Uh, and Okay, so there we go. We just uh, I made this room. Uh, I made this room between episodes just so we would have a room where we can just come make these seeds. Uh, let's see here. Niotic ones require us to have four of the niotic crystals. So I don't know if we have NIO. No, we do not have any niotic crystals. Um, so we're going to have to set up the laser again over here. Uh, real quick, so let's see here. We want four of the mag magmeters, uh, basics, three, four. We want uh, fluid cables, a wrench. and a cable, not cabbage, cable and uh, the energy cube, or energy orb, there we go. And uh, let's go nine of these. Seven, eight, nine. Uh, simple setup. We'll set this up. It's only a temporary right now. All right. Get the cable. Here we go. We want to put away the rest of those. We don't need that many of them out. Uh, we want to go four by two. Could actually do 12 of uh, these energy rods, just set these energy rods right here. All right. Set that right there. And we will hit this, our uh, pretty much infinite lava right now. And tell it to give us diamonds. Okay, so we'll just take this much diamonds. See there, does the lasers into the diamonds. It's going to take a bit because these do not produce a lot of power. Uh, we're also going to be needing the energized steel, which is for those. Uh, it requires electrum and steel. 
So we're going to need four Electrum and four Steel. Okay, so uh, what I'm thinking we're going to have to do is uh, take a quick break here while I make the stuff I need for the seeds. Uh, nitro crystals. Let's see here. That requires the insanium. Uh, one nether star, two redstones, and a block of blazing crystals. Blazing crystals are uh, blaze rods. So we'll, we'll definitely want to do the blaze rod one uh, next. get four of those because I think it's only four of these that is needed yeah okay so yeah all right so let's make this seed uh, all right uh, Imperium I know I said I'd take a quick break but to make this stuff, uh, but when you need to show off something, make sure that you show that you make this. Uh, also, make this one, which requires. The Imperium as well. Okay, so once we get these done, we can go in here and say farmland. Grab some of this top tier farmland here. Uh, also, we're going to say pipes. Grab these and these because they're needed. Uh, we're going to come over here to where we have these set up. We'll set up our first one here. We'll say you will get the blazing crystals. And once these grow, I want to show this off here. Once you grow complete, we get 10 blazing crystal essences. All right, we only get 10 of these per. How many of uh, the ice shirts do we get per turn? Six. So we get four more per turn. So uh, I'm going to place the. Uh, this down, make sure that they get the ultimate pipe upgrade. We'll take this out. Put this in the uranite seeds and the. Making sure both of these will get the proper upgrades. Energized steel seeds and. Um, Yeah, I will come over here. Uh, do, 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 do. You can go in there for right now. Um, okay, so to make the night, the nitro seeds, we're going to need four nitros for this. Um, which requires nether stars, blocks of redstone, two blocks of redstone, and a block of the blazing crystals. So we 
take the blazing crystals that we've been getting. They make the blocks like so. We're going to need more blocks, by the way. Um, redstone. And we're going to need nether stars. Which we can get that through our uh, production of stuff. So we'll put two reds, redstone blocks in here. Blazing crystal and that. And we're just going to 20 million... Fe to wait for that. So, like I said, I will make the stuff I need for all of these seeds. I'll make all of the seeds and get them set up, and then I will come back to you guys. And now it's done. All right. Uh, I did use an ultimate energy cube that I powered up by charging it through here and from down there. So to get the nitro crystals that we need for the seeds and for other stuff. Uh, nitro crystals require insanium essence. It also requires one other thing. And we only needed to make one set of these. My math is right. For, for this. So. Here we go. Nitro crystal seeds. Open hole. Okay. We need it to be on a. Nitro crystal crux. Okay. So we need to teach this, how to make the nitro capacitors. And to make this, okay, so it's missing eight. So if I shift click this in here and click start, should be able to now get that. We have two nitro crystals left over from this. So just barely enough. So we'll put this in here. We'll put the nitro crystal crux in there and place that in there. Little bit of bone meal later. Right. We have the Nitro Crystal Essence. We'll come over here and place in here. And so now we can get to what I want to be making power-wise. Uh, besides this. Okay, this, this is just unsightly. Uh, it only works in small amounts. Uh, literally, it's a waste of space. My viewpoint. So, there we go. Get this up out of here. Ding. I think we will now make uh, the next item, right? Uh, or I want to teach, actually, I want another creator. Of these. Uh, I want to teach use of making these crystals here like so um, and now I want to at power 
I would like to be able to make the reactors. So, because I feel the reactors will be the best way of making power. Uh, can we make the... Okay, so we'll need this. We need to teach you this. Uh, each step we gotta be able to teach it. Oh, we also need to teach it that you can make uranite this way, so. Blazing. Harden. Basic. And start it. So is our creative uh, drive done? Okay, so put those in there. And this. Okay, so now uh, we should be able to now request 36, 60, 72. Uh, let's just make our initial 36 of these. Okay, so we're just going to wait on getting the spiritic crystals and the niotic crystals. Those. Did, did we not? Put the spirited crystals in here? Okay. Apparently not, so... This one. There we go. Spirited crystals. We'll wait until we get the... Enough stuff to make the 36 of these uh, available to us. And also, I'm going to dig out the reactor room that I to need for this. So I will be right back with that done. Okay, guys. About an hour later, um, Finally got the stuff to make the reactor. I also made network transmitter and receiver. And I can't remember. Is it the transmitter I want on this side? No, it's the receiver I want on this side. Okay. No. Is it the trans? Yeah, okay. It's the transmitter I want on this side. Okay, so I've got the room set up here. Uh, I'm going to move all of the torches in here up there. And nope, nope, I, I placed that at the wrong spot. You got to place the very first one in the center of where you want it at. Uh, so right there. And I could fit three on this side. For this, so yeah, we'll, we'll probably do three on this side. Right on that other side of that wall is the mob field. Just to let you guys know that. Uh, I'm gonna set this here and hit the network card. Okay, to that. Put that in there. Uh, about 15 blocks. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so we just need some cables. Uh, and also, I want a crafting upgrade for this. 
we're we're going to like I said, I'm going to uh, set this on all three sites here. Uh, I want a lot of power in this mod, and um, one way to do it is with these reactors from this. So I want to use this power. So let's see here. I need a bucket of water. I'm going to grab four buckets of water. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this does not uh, ever go down on the water aspect. Uh, on here, I need the uranite. Ur yeah, this stuff right here. Uh, I need the... I want block of redstone. Uh, because... It works well. A block of coal. And... I, I'm gonna need dry ice. But that's going to have to come after... Uh, I get this up and running. So right now, we're going to say ice. And can we turn that into blue ice? Because we're going to need it as coolant for this. So let's see here. Ice. Uh, basic ice, we can uh, actually... We can just actually request basic ice. Teach it to the system. So there we can just do that. Uh, we can get packed ice. So uh, let's type ice. Surprise, packed ice doesn't have a recipe, nor does blue ice. So packed ice and blue ice, which is just packed ice like that. And dry ice, if I'm not mistaken, comes from a power, if it's in this pack. Yeah, there we go, dry ice, which requires us to run it through an energized, uh, energized orb as well as lasers. So let's uh, get some uh, trying to think here at power. Uh, I got all the way up to that tier. I want to have this tier of these lasers. I want nine of them. Which is energizing rod. Okay, so rod. We're gonna say we want nine of these. Almost. Almost enough. Uh, can we make, say three. Okay, so we can make three of these. How about cables? At power, uh, I want to teach it the higher tier cables. Uh, what's the highest tier that we have? We have basic. So starter, basic, harden. Uh, okay, we could actually This might be the better no no actually this is the cheaper recipe And we don't have you taught to know how to make these yet Oh wait, we don't need it taught. Okay Uh. At 
power. Let's see here. Uh, harden, blazing. Actually, let's just make. Yeah, we can just write request the that tier of cable. So if we go cable, we can do that. We'll say one set. Uh, energize cubes. Okay, so we need this and the remaining two rods that we have. And we're going to grab some ice, blue ice. We ha already have blue ice, so let's craft ten. Okay, so we've got ten of these. All right, so now let's let's get this. Let's get to the proper place first. Uh, can we actually move this so that this is, say, here? And we put this, this, uh, the block of coal, the, that, and dry ice. And we can just drag and put it into the exporter from there. I will can put a crafting card in there. So we honestly do that. Okay, we see that this is starting to fill up here. It's wanting to have a uh, dry ice in there. So it's making some power. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of blue ice in there to help cool it down. All right, and we're making roughly, I want to say, about 500k FE per tick for this generator, which is very good, especially as we're going to uh, fill this entire room. Uh, I'll probably make this go back a little bit more put three on this side, three on this side. Uh, but for right now, we're going to set this up so that it pulls some power out. Uh, use, we'll use it as power. Uh, we're going to actually start improving our power situation in this pack. Right close near the worm. Uh, I need to figure up how we're going to craft the blue eye or the the dry ice in this. So I will let's see here. Not sure exactly how much time I have left. So what I'm going to do is take a quick break and figure up how to actually automate this and get the remaining generators in here. Alright guys, I think I have an idea on how we're going to automate this. Uh, first off, we're going to need a crafter. I made another creative crafter. Uh, we'll put the dry ice pattern in there. We'll also tell it on redstone pulse to insert the next step. Okay, so that should work the way I have this idea in my head. Okay, so we'll open up. Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to have to do it this side. For right now, uh, until I move this, I, I'll move uh, this laser setup to some place more permanent here in a second. We'll hopper so that once the thing gets done in here, it gets and in, put it into there. Uh, I 
did make a little bit of extra dry ice for this. So we got this here. Uh, we're going to set a comparator because this can put out a signal based upon uh, what's in there. And we'll put in a repeater. We'll just put those there. Uh, I'll, I'll look to see if there's anything that we can do redstone wise a little bit better. Uh, we'll set an importer on to this. How about this? We take one level lower here. Importer from this side. Uh, bring some cable around to this. And we'll hook this all up and yeah, there, it actually is working. So uh, let's, let's request dry ice. Let's, let's see if we can request a stack of this. Okay. Yep. Yep. This is working, so if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, hit that dislike. Leave a comment, let me know what I did wrong between uh, down in the comments, or what you liked about this episode in the com comments as well. I am going to be making a few more of these, and I, I want to show you guys how we're going to get the power off of here real quick. Yeah, let's do that before we end this. Uh, at Flux, I want uh, one of these gargantuan Flux networks, or Flux storage. We're going to take a Flux point. I think points were what we want. No, we want a plug. We'll want flux for each of these. We want a flux controller. We'll set this up, uh, say, here. We'll say this will be create new network. We're going to call it the uh, Malcor network. Uh, we'll just mark it as private. Well, we're on a private server, so we could say public, so I will just say that. That comes on. We'll put this here. We'll say this is the Malcord network. We can do all that lovely stuff. Uh, we can also say uh, anything in any of these slots here can get wire, wireless energy. Uh, and we come up here to this port. We set this here. We will sh make sure that it is set to the Malcor network. And you'll see that it's slowly draining out. We'll see that this does actually already have full energy. And our wireless grid now will permanently have energy. So, like, we can pull stuff in and out from it as much as we like. So, all right. So, yeah, I'm going to make a, the rest of these reactors. I might move this over into that room, the warehouse room. I will set up probably the laser crafting elsewhere. So... I'll do that between episodes and uh, yeah. until next time. Later, Gators.